good morning. Another nice bright sunny day here in Winnipeg. Now before we roll back to see how it is we got to this place, probably about half an hour ago it suddenly hit me. We could look and see what Carlo depicted these mushroom vents as looking like in his drawings. And so I, I, I did, I, I checked, and there's a, two or three good drawings. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever find photographs of them, but uh, I'm sure that uh, it seems to me that uh, somebody did send me a, uh, <clears throat> a website on the Rodney. And uh, uh, just, just recently, and I was looking at it, uh, and I'm sorry, I, I can't remember who it was who sent it to me, otherwise I'd give you credit right now. But I, I was looking at it, and it was from the Museum of, I think it was from a war museum in Britain. I did remember afterwards who it was who sent me the link. It was our friend UK Jason. And the museum in question was the world-famous Imperial War Museum. I should have remembered that. Anyway, it, it, uh, it was uh, a, a lot of stuff just on the Rodney. And uh, I'm sure we can find actual photographs of what one of these vents actually looked like. But anyway, we will check this out later. In the meantime, I think what we should do is, is roll back and see how it is we got to this place. And then we'll continue on today. Okay, I did get our other camera hooked up on this very beautiful evening. Yeah. Now, is there anything else here on step 16 other than the anchor chain? I think it was all G5s and the four H9s, which we have. Now, can we get anything off step 17? Okay, 17 calls for more more mushroom vents they're probably they look like they might be a little bit larger g23s g23 g a couple of g j5s wasn't it j5s that we got no it was g5s okay the, the j5s are actually bigger uh, they're they're really big ones. Okay, uh, so it's uh, G twenty threes and J fives. I, I think we can do that. We got we got room over here. Excuse my reach to put a few more down. Although didn't we conclude that it's better off putting them on this? Yeah, I, I think so. I I don't know if when we get this, just flip over and see if we have to put anything. Oh my goodness, look at all those small parts. Oh my. It, it's just lousy with mu mushroom vents. Here's some more G5, so well, we, we've got them, so. And here. Okay, it looks like that's the end of the small parts. Um. Well, let's let's get these ones here on 17, and that'll probably pretty much fill up our our, uh, our uh, double-sided tape here. See, I'm not, I'm not worried about, you know, they they won't they won't fall off of this. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay. So we need the G sprue and the J sprue. Well, here's what's happening with the rabbits. On July the 1st, we're not allowed to feed any of the wildlife here in Winnipeg, except for the bird feeder. That, that'll be allowed. And uh, it was kind of sad because this morning, I saw two little rabbits hopping along here and they they came and they looked. This is where I've been putting the, the carrots us, ever since the snow went. In fact, before the snow went. And uh, there were, there's no carrots here, so that, that was really hard, but 
I may as well stop feeding them now because all I'm doing is I'm making them dependent on me. And if I can't feed them, you know, right through in, into the winter when, when they really need it, uh, I'm not really doing them a favor. Right now there's uh, all kinds of stuff growing that they can, uh, you know, they can forage for themselves. And uh, hopefully by the time the snow comes in about four or five months, <laughs> and it will, um, yeah, about five months, uh, they'll have figured it out how to, how to get it for themselves. Because it, it won't be here unless Winnipeg changes their bylaw. So that's the latest on the rabbits. And uh, yeah, and the, re the reason I was putting it here is because it was, it was just too hard to get it, get it back there by the, where the bird feeder is. You can see the bird feeder away in the back there. Well, that's where the, the uh, carrot pad used to be. And uh, yeah, even with the snowblower, it, it, was a, it was a real hassle. So I, I didn't do it. Anyway, it's a beautiful sunny day here. Nice, nice early summer day. Anyway, see you back at the model table. Okay, there's not very much coffee left in Jonathan's mug here. And uh, being as it's so late, I better not drink the last of it. Um, well, maybe a tiny little sip just to flavor the end of my tongue, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, for our G23s now, if you remember, there are six G sprues. And, and these are our, let's see what we've got here. That's 22. This is this is actually the 23s here, and there's a total of 60 of them. And just let me recompose here. They're going to be a little bit, a little bit different to get off, in a way. Okay, numbers 21 and 22. They're gone. At least on this sprue, they are. I better check. They might not be gone on every sprue. What I was planning on doing here is, is removing the this entire stringer from the sprue. And you you can see here we we also have to cut cut this piece of uh, flashing off. So in order for it to sit on the masking tape correctly, I, mean, I want to make sure I cut these square. Um, yeah, let's let's just do it like this. And uh, it's kind of hard to get in there, isn't it? I'm trying to spare that 23, but I mean, why? What's the big deal about it? Okay, there we go. All right, I just do that five more times here. Yeah, but you know what do we got here? It's uh, it's 8:39 right now. And um, I think maybe I should I should call it a, call it a night. Oh, notice on this one there's uh, there's also detailing on the on the front. Uh, one of the viewers uh, sent me a photograph of what he thought these things probably would look like and how they would have a, a grating over the over the front. Um, yeah. It wasn't exactly like these, though. Otherwise, I would show it to you. It, it looked more like a bolt that somebody had made, and uh, because <laughs> there was a, a nut on the on the end here, or you could see where a nut could be screwed on the end. Anyway, I'm starting to. I must be getting tired. I'm starting to ramble here. Okay, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning, and as it turns out, there were some 21s on the other sprues. Three of them had 21s, and three of them didn't. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, put them in a test tube here, and uh, I don't know if we're going to need them or not. Now, now, these 21s, we actually used those when we were doing the uh, 
I think it was the the uh, six inch guns or the five inch guns. They were some kind of a little vent or antenna thing or something that went on the top. And and we did use uh, we did use it looks like six of them, but for some reason there's there's extras here. So I'm assuming we're we're probably going to need them. At least at least I'm thinking we will. We, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But. Uh, I'm all thumbs here this morning. What's the matter with me? Okay. I guess I don't have to do everything on camera, do I? Now, where's the lid for this thing? There it is. Okay. So we're good to go now. Okay. Now, before I forget to mention it, one of the viewers made the suggestion, why don't you take a little bit of extra thin and uh, just take the very smallest amount of extra thin and just put it on the tops of these mushroom vents and that'll help sort of even out the, the you know, the sanding marks and places where I nipped it off. And uh, that's a real good idea. I, I, I just might do that, especially maybe on the larger ones. I don't know if I'll do it on the smaller ones. But maybe on the larger ones I will. M mind you, the larger ones I look pretty good already. Um, but but I think these ones here are going to be even more larger. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for the suggestion. Now, where are we going here with this? Uh, I, I think that the best way to do this is in, instead of taking my my nippers and cutting these vents off right now and then removing the piece off the bottom. I think that the thing to do is to remove the part off the bottom first because that will you, you build a it'll help you hold this thing nice and square. And just try and get it something like that. Okay now I think that this this should stick onto the uh on the onto the uh, double sided tape really good and stay nice and perpendicular if you know what I mean. That's my my main thinking about wanting to have have these square. Uh, maybe I'll put the macro lens on just for the fun of it. Okay, if I don't get to use the macro lens at least once per episode, I start to get the shakes, and the shakes and this hobby do not really go together too well. I just realized something. Maybe my fingernails aren't clean. Best time to uh, do macro work is uh, right after you've done the dishes. I do have a dishwasher, but I don't use it. I haven't used it for so long. I think the pump is seized up. Come on. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do the other uh, five sprues the same way. And uh, then we'll decide what we're going to do about how we're going to remove them. We'll probably be removing them the uh, same way we did the smaller ones. But then, then maybe we'll try the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin trick. See how well it works on one of these. I'm sure it's going to work really good. I've, I've done that before on stuff and it, it works out really good. But I don't think I've ever done it on anything quite this small before. Now by the time I get to the end here, I'm just uh, motoring along like a well-oiled machine, as the saying goes. And I'm almost sorry that I'm at the last one here, which is this one right here, because I was doing so well I don't want to stop. You may recognize this as the applicator that I use for applying the CA glue in minute amounts most of the time, <laughs> once in a while. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I, I took it out of my uh, P 
pin vise. Come on, Ron, pin vise. That's, that's the word. And I took it out of the pin vise, and the reason being is, if you remember, I was using these tweezers to hold this in place, to try and hold it square while I nipped this off. But I'm just wondering, this is just a trial. I haven't actually done one. I've, I've adjusted the, uh, the pin vise, so this should just nicely slip over it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now, the idea is this, if I'm holding this square level, the the uh, the plane, it should be at the same plane. Should I reshoot this? Anyway, now I can put good pressure up against the, the top of the mushroom vent, and it should be nice and square, and then when we nip it off, okay, we should have... Okay, now you're going to be seeing that before me. Mind you, we don't have the macro lens on, but we will. And, uh, yeah, now now the only thing that would be a better idea... How do I get it out of there? I don't want to, I don't want to damage it. Maybe I'll use... Uh, okay, there we go. Now, the only thing that would be better than this would be if I was to measure the, uh, the uh, size of the shank... Or, or whatever you want to call this this part here on this end, and then drill a hole where something. Okay, something like this. Just drill a hole up in, in here, and then I could... Uh, because I think that this three-jaw chuck is not as... is not as true as if it was a four-jaw or a six-jaw chuck. Um, Anyway, that's, that's my thinking. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do it off camera, though, because I wasted enough time here. Now, I was just realizing that uh, these little parts that we're nipping off here, they look an awful lot like these. And I can imagine that I'll get them mixed up. Okay. And, uh... That's for the sprue pen that we may or may not make someday. I told you I wasn't going to show it being done. I'm a man of my word. I should have been a politician, right? Okay, I won't put on the macro lens, and all I'm doing is I'm drilling it turns out that if I drill a, I haven't tried it yet, but I think if I drill a 1 16th inch hole, according to what I measured out, that should be just a smidgen bigger than the shank on those uh, little parts. At least that's the plan. And I think what I'm going to do is instead of drilling one hole, I'm going to drill five holes. And, and that way I can, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll put six, who knows. Anyway, you'll see why in a minute here. was working a, a minute ago, uh, I hear my, my mailbox rattle and I look in the, in the monitor and it's a mailman at the door and I'm getting a letter. Now, I'm going to show you this. I, there's no return address on it but I recognize the, the labeling. I know where it's from, I know what it's about and it's, well, I'll show it to you. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, well, interesting to me anyway. I suppose I could find something else to hold the CA glue applicator other than this. And I would leave this open for, you know, for what it's meant for. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe someday. Now, here's the plan, and I haven't, I haven't tried this yet, so let's continue on with the one. Let's see, we took one piece off of this one, we're just going to continue on here. Okay, uh... Now I'll put the macro lens on. I just wanted you to get perspective. 
So we're going to be taking and well, let's get the micro lens on. Where is it? There we go. Okay, we are not as close as we could be. We could be getting getting in a little closer, but sometimes too close is no good either. Now the idea is we want to put this down in here and I want to make sure I don't go getting my hands in your way like that. Okay, so now when we take our, our uh, cutter and push down on the top of this, like I'm not, I'm not even holding this plastic part right now. It should, it should be fairly, fairly level. You know what I mean? And see what happens here. Now that should have made a relatively, well, not really, did it? Let's try another one here. Maybe my idea isn't as good as I thought it was. Or maybe I wasn't holding the cutter flat. I gotta, gotta remember that, that, that these blades are at a slight angle to what the handle part is. So, yeah, about something like that. Okay, press down hard. Uh, that's not bad. Okay, now the reason I've got six of them is so that I can take and drop these out rather quickly. I don't have to. Oh, this one's stuck. Now what? I will come back and get it later. I wonder what's in there that made it stick. There we go. I don't want to lose it either. Maybe something down in the hole. Okay, let's uh, let's just try it one more time here and see if we can get some sort of a system going here. Maybe I don't need to press down quite so hard on the tops. Okay, get another one here. Yeah, when you got to do 60 of these things, you sort of want to, you know, get a system going so that it, it's okay if you want to do just one, but if you got to do 60, it's a... Uh... Oh, it worked good that time. Okay, you, you get the idea. I'm just going to continue on and, and do the rest of them. Yeah. Okay, now I'm zoomed in as close as I can get, at least with the regular macro. And I don't think these super macros are too appropriate here. Anyway, um, what I'm thinking is uh, I still got just over 40 to do. To do, I was going to pull these out, and and then I thought maybe now is the time to do our filing and sanding while they're being held reasonably straight. At least I'm I'm thinking they will. Okay, we got rid of most of it there, don't we? All right, now our sanding stick. Let's polish it a little bit. Now I don't think I want to do the CA glue thing. Where's my paint, my uh, toothbrush? Well, I don't know where it is, so I'll use this one. Well, I, th I think that's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to just continue on like that. I'm going to file and sand them while they're being held in place by our special vise here. Uh, yeah. Okay, I've opened our letter here. And it's what I figured it was. Uh, and, and what it is, well, first of all, let, let me go way back to the, I guess, mid-70s. And we were over at my sister-in-law's place, my, my wife's sister's place, 
and I think it was a birthday party or something like that, and they were talking about a society that they were members of called uh, the Funeral Society for Central Canada. And uh, at least that's what, it's, that's, that's what this one's called. I think there's probably more than just, just this one, but uh, anyway. So they, they were talking about this, and they were telling us how that, you know, if one of the members dies, each one of the other surviving members pays a, a small fee, and then their funeral is, is covered. And uh, it sound, sounds like a pretty good idea. idea. And uh, anyway, I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm thinking this through, and I said, what happens when we all get older and start dying off like flies? I can still remember saying the... the the phrase dying off like flies and I don't think I was too popular because I was making people stop stop to think yeah well what about this I mean think this through uh, <laughs> anyway uh, that's another story so we joined and uh, and when Mary passed away uh, her funeral was almost covered Way back in the early days, the funeral was completely covered, unless you wanted something really extravagant. Uh, the way it is right now, uh, it's probably half covered, I'm just guessing. Uh, you know, the, the, the uh, membership is sort of dwindling, so uh, I'm not going to quit them, even though, uh, you know, I, I, I could. Uh, and then the funeral would, would come out of my estates, my funeral would come out of my estate, but uh, I, I want to keep going and sort of sort of help them out if I can. Uh, anyway, uh, it, it, it's interesting how we, we get ourselves into these things. We don't we don't think things through to the end. You know, we just there's there's nobody funnier than people. I guess you might say we we're we're kind of gullible, gullible that way. The idea and concept of this is good until you think it through. Sort of like, uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff that we, that we don't really think through. Uh, you know what, I think I'm getting down a path that I shouldn't be going right now. I think uh, we should get back to the model. Let, let's, let's get back to the model. See, what we've got time here? Yeah, it's uh, almost 12 noon. I think we've got time to do just a little bit more. I don't know what it's going to be though, because it's going to take me a little while to get all these finished. On the other hand, maybe we should we should call it quits here for today. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it quits for today, and uh, I'll continue on later this afternoon if anything interesting happens. Like I say, I'll, I'll video it. Uh, I will be getting a coffee visitor, but not for three and a half hours. Uh, so I got lots of time to do stuff, but then there is other things that I want to do. <laughs> okay, why did I, why did I bring this up? I should maybe delete this scene. What do you think? Should I delete it? Let me know in the comments below if you think I should delete it. Well, I won't delete it, but I won't do it again maybe. Until the next time. Thanks for watching everybody. All being well, we'll see you tomorrow.